Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Hashtag Embellish With Us Wednesdays, hosted by Lilo Crafts, Raina, and Mary Ann's Craft Corner. And today I would like to share with you guys some of the embellishments that I've made using some hexagon shape die. So this is a honeycomb shape die that I've had for so many years. And this is a bumblebee die that Alicia from Love Letter Generation has gifted me. And I have used this bumblebee in an embellishment before and I wanted to give it another try. So this time I have used the Maggie Holmes Market Square papers. And I've also used some parasol papers mixed in but mainly market square one for the bumblebee embellishments. So I will show you this one first. This one had the uh, ruler borders on a large 12 by 12 sheet of cut apart from the market square. And I was inspired by the ruler pieces. There was about three or four different uh, color ones. And they also had some word pieces and this one says so sweet so what i did was just layer things on top of each other starting from the hexagon base then the bumblebee and then i added the ruler then i included this lovely mesh that i've got from bb craft it's a very soft gold mesh and then i put the other two pieces on top and took it to the sewing machine and put it together there's another one that says hello dear one I love all of the color combinations in the market square as well. And I haven't really had a chance to use those papers. So I would like to mix more of it using the parasol together. This one says, whatever makes your soul happy, do that. This particular piece is from the Jen Hadfield paper. And same with this sentiment is from the Jen Hadfield and I love this vellum piece I've had for a while. I believe it's from another Maggie Holmes ephemera pack. And I don't exactly remember which one. Could be Garden Party. I'm not sure. So instead of using the strips of paper uh, horizontally, I have used it vertically. And here is another one where I have used a cut apart rectangular piece. Used that gold mesh and then layered the bumblebee on top and added the word happy. Here's another one that says, remember this. I love the soft color combinations in those. And here's another one. I love those. And then I've also been uh, using some of the dyes that I got from AliExpress a while ago. And this one says, proud of you. And I die cut using the market square paper and the parasol papers. Then I cut out the base of the word pieces in vellum. And I just took it to the sewing machine to stitch it instead of gluing it painstakingly. <laughs> So this is another one. This is a parasol paper. I really like the sentiment that says proud of you. I wish I had heard of it a lot more as I was growing up. So I say it a lot to my kids that I'm proud of them. Here is a one where I used the specialty vellum gold paper that I got from Spotlight. And it happened to be one of the old Maggie Holmes vellum paper. I think it was crepe paper flea market. I was so super surprised to find this at um, Spotlight a long time ago, a while ago, not too long ago. And here is the one I used the market square paper. This one is happy birthday. Oh, I have one more proud of you. This is a blueberry um, printed on a black background of the market square. Another one. And these are the birthday ones. Happy birthday. I thought these are really wonderful to gift in happy mails or for my future prize mail. And here's another one with the vellum 
background with the gold foil. I love these so much. I think I could probably make more if I had the energy to, but I think these are enough for now with the bumblebee and the words, and I love these so, so much. Please make sure you guys go check out the other ladies joining in on the open collab of hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.